Hi, I'm Josh Friedman, the owner of One Zero Digital Media. And if you're watching this, we're about to do a show together, either live or pre-recorded. We use a piece of software called OBS, and there's a few things I'd like you to do ahead of time before our show. The first thing you're going to need is the free updated commercial version of Skype. Not the business version, you don't have to pay for it, it's free. Now, there's a couple ways you could do that. Either click on the link that I provided to you to download Skype, or you can literally just Google free Skype and it's going to take you right here to download Skype. If you have a Mac, you're going to click here. It knows I have a Mac. If you're on a PC, you want to make sure you get the PC version. Once you have downloaded Skype, please connect with me on Skype. My Skype name is Josh OZDM. That's J-O-S-H-O-Z-D-M as in one zero digital media. Once you have Skype downloaded, I want you to find the system preferences in Skype. For a Mac, it's going to be on the top. You're going to click on the word Skype and then preferences. If it's on a PC, you're going to see it in um, kind of on the right side. This thing looks like a cheeseburger. You're going to click on that. It'll take you to your preferences. Once you're in your preferences, the first thing I want you to do is go to your audio and video settings and make sure that the blur is selected. Now, unlike Teams or Zoom, you can't have a fun, funky image behind you, but you can blur it out and you can see how it looks on the screen right here. The second thing I want you to do is go to where it says calling. In order for me to record you, you have to enable what's called NDI. And this is in your advanced settings in calling. So click on advanced and you will see here allow NDI usage. This may or may not be selected on yours. If it is off, please turn it on. That way I will be able to get a feed from your computer. Now the reason why we're using Skype with OBS as opposed to anything else is because it gives me the ability to capture your desktop at the exact same time as capturing your video feed. So when I'm in this view right here, you can see this is my desktop right here. I can click on things and I can select things. This will be your PowerPoint presentation. This might be your deck, which I can also make as a single screen. Now, if you're the person who's going to be sharing your screen, either a PowerPoint presentation or literally a screen share, I'll need you to do one more thing, and that is to hide your clock or hide your entire dock. I will put in the notes how to do that, whether you're on a Windows or a Mac computer. Thank you so much. I look forward to seeing you. If you have any questions, please email me, josh at 10dm.com. That's josh at O-N-E-Z-E-R-O-D-M.com. Thank you so much.